Hallelujah. Blessed morning as we gather together in one accord and worship the Lord and praise Him. We're going to speak to the mountains as Jesus said, commanded us to do that. A mountain is some kind of a hindrance, obstacle in your life that is causing any kind of situation that is a hindrance. You've got to speak to it. In the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 23 and 24, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. And the next verse Jesus tells us, Whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Hallelujah. What an amazing promise we have in the word that we can command any hindrance, whether it is a sickness, whether it is a lack or a need in our lives, we can command it in the name of Jesus. Be removed and be cast into the sea. That's the authority that Jesus gave to us to speak to mountains, to speak to obstacles. And I love this next verse. Jesus said, whatever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them. So whatever desires you have in your life, believe as you pray those desires to the Lord, you say, Father, I thank you. As I bring my desires to you, I believe that I receive them. I believe I receive them and I shall have them. You know, you can write down the things that you desire in your life. You can write it down and bring it to the Lord. And the, this condition that Jesus tells us here is not to doubt in our hearts when we pray. Write it down, the things that you have in your heart. You know, the word tells us also to delight yourself in the Lord and He shall give you the desires of your heart. He shall give it to you. So let's take these promises and say, Father, I thank you. As I delight myself in you, I know that these desires that I have, they shall come to pass. Believe that when you pray. You know, prayer is not something that you need to say, Lord, if it's, I'm not sure, I don't know if you're going to answer me, but if it's a true desire in your heart, believe that you receive those. And it shall come. The word is clear here. You shall have them. You shall have them. Hallelujah. Father, I just pray right now over your people and also those who are viewing us, the desires that, the deepest desires, you know, Father, what these desires are. And I pray, Lord, that even as they delight themselves in you, that you shall bring these desires to pass. Thank you, Father, that we can speak to the mountains. Sickness, poverty, loneliness, we address you right now. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And we command you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. And we receive and we believe whatsoever things we desire. When we pray, we shall have them. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's sing this song, speaking to mountains, sickness, poverty, lack, anything. You can command it to be removed and cast into the sea. Hallelujah. And all of you online, join us as we praise the Lord with the lyrics on the screen. And we pray that today you will be encouraged and strengthened with the word. You know, we are releasing words of life as we sing these songs. And so we pray that you take them and sing them even over yourselves during the week. And the Lord will minister to you and encourage you. Amen. Let's worship Him.
Continue praising him. We're going to sing from First Corinthians chapter 6. Tells us that our bodies are the temple of the living God. Paul says, What know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which you have of God, and you are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Hallelujah. Let's say it together. My body is the temple of the living God. My body is the temple of the living God. I no longer belong to myself. I no longer belong to myself. But I belong to him. I belong to Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. That's what we're going to sing about.
all for us. Amen. Let's continue singing. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed.
Of the land. 
that He lives in you. Oh, it's so important to give yourself to Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. Yield yourself to the unction of God. Yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. Let Him work inside. Yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, yield yourself to the unction of God, yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, let Him work inside.
It's like a river that flows from within you. She never loved. If you've never been filled with the Holy Ghost, you can do it right now. Jesus said that, you know, He's the gift that He gives to us, the Holy Spirit. To every man that asks, receives. So if you have never prayed in the language of the Holy Spirit, say it with me. Father God, right now, I believe I receive the Holy Spirit, the gift, the Spirit of God into my life. Thank you for filling me with your Spirit. So I open my mouth and pray in a new tongue, a new language that you have given me, that I may speak mysteries, that I may speak your perfect will over my life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You have him right now if you believe that and you can pray along. Let's pray together. Just open your mouth and be free to let him move through you. Let him direct you. what we're saying when we say yield yourself we're saying I just give my every entire being to you to the Lord our bodies are his temple and when you yield yourself to him you know your body actually belongs to him now as a child of God the scripture in Romans that we were singing from your body is an instrument of righteousness unto the Lord maybe he might prompt you, he might give you certain nudges into your spirit, yield yourself to him. Because when he's speaking, it's always a still small voice and it's a peace that he gives you. And also when the Lord speaks, he will confirm from his word. He'll give you scriptures when he talks to you. So we don't have to be in the dark. We can know the voice of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us this day. Thank you for strengthening us, Lord, from your word. Yes, Lord, our bodies are the temple of the living God. And we present it unto you, Lord, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. Thank you for your peace that passes all our understanding. As we've been speaking to those mountains, be removed, we command any mountain, hindrance in the mind, we rebuke you, any distraction, spirit of distraction, or sadness, or whatever it might be, a hindrance in our mind, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. And we command peace be still into our minds in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.